Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you how you can easily use DocuSign. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how DocuSign works. So if you have no idea about DocuSign and how to get started, then this video is for you. DocuSign is one of the powerful tools that enables you to sign, send, and manage your documents electronically. In this tutorial, we will guide you step by step on how to use DocuSign. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and jump right into the DocuSign tutorial. The first thing you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you'll have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step and let's sign in. Here we are in my DocuSign account. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in DocuSign, and then I'll show you how we can use DocuSign. So, after logging into your DocuSign account, you will be taken to the dashboard. Here, you will find several tabs that allow you to manage your documents, envelopes, templates, reports, settings, and profile. The default tab on the dashboard is the Home tab. This is where you will see your signature displayed and where you can upload documents to be signed. The Manage tab is where you can manage all of your envelopes. The view of this section is similar to email with an inbox, sent, drafts, deleted, and more sections on the left-hand side of the screen. The Templates tab is where you can manage all of your custom and pre-built templates. This is a great feature for businesses that use similar documents repeatedly, as it allows you to save time and effort by creating templates that can be easily modified and reused. I'll show you how to do it later in this video. The Reports tab is where you can view reports related to your account activity. This includes information about the envelope's status, success, and usage. The Settings tab is where you can make account-wide setting changes. This includes managing your account settings, billing, security, and more. Finally, the profile is at the top right corner of the dashboard. Here, you can manage your personal profile, switch your account, or change your preferences. First of all, you may need to customize your account by creating your signature. To add a signature to your account, click on your logo or your initials at the top right corner and then click on Manage Profile. On the left sidebar, you will see the Signatures option, which is the fourth option from the top. Here, you can see all your signatures. From here, you can edit or delete any existing signature or add a new one. We can easily do so by clicking on the Add Signature button. Then, you can choose one of the pre-formatted styles. Additionally, you can upload image files or draw your signature. For this example, I will just choose one of the existing styles. Once you have done, then hit the Create button, and it's automatically saved. Now uploading your document to DocuSign is a quick and easy process. To get started, simply click on the Start Now button on the home page and then click on Upload. DocuSign supports various types of documents, including PDFs, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and more. There are several ways to upload your document. You can browse for documents on your computer, use a template that you have previously created, Again, I'll show you how to do it later in this video. Or import documents from Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. This makes it easy to access your documents, no matter where they're stored. Another convenient feature of DocuSign is the ability to drag and drop documents. This allows you to quickly upload a document by simply dragging it from your computer and dropping it into the designated area in DocuSign. Once you've uploaded your documents, you will need to add recipients. Adding recipients is a simple and easy step in the document signing process in DocuSign. To add recipients, simply tick the Signing Order box and fill in the name and email address of the recipient. You can also add recipients from your existing contacts by clicking on the Contact icon in the Name box and selecting the desired recipient from your contact list I'll also show you how to add contacts later in this video. 
If you want to assign a specific task for the recipient, such as signing the document or receiving a copy of it, you can do so by clicking on the pencil icon on the right side and selecting the appropriate option. Additionally, you can customize the recipient by clicking on the Customize button, which allows you to add an access code and private message for the recipient. After adding the recipient, scroll down to the Message section where you can write the subject of your message in the Email Subject box, and type your message in the Email Message box. This is a great opportunity to provide context for the document and explain any necessary instructions or expectations. Once you have added all recipients and written your message, click on the Next button to move on to the next step in the process. Adding necessary fields to your documents is an important step to ensure that your document is filled out completely and accurately. In DocuSign, you can easily add various types of fields to your document such as signature, initial, date, name, and email fields, among others. For example, select the Signature field from the list of available fields and drag and drop the Signature tag to the appropriate part of your file. You can include additional information by adding more tags like name, date signed, and more. Once you have selected a specific field and dragged it into the document, the right panel will open. Here, you can further customize the field by making it a required field if necessary, changing the formatting, data label, and location. This allows you to create a document that is tailored to your specific needs and requirements. Now, before sending your document to the recipient, it's important to preview it to ensure that it looks the way you want it to. You can do this by navigating to the top right corner of the screen and clicking on the Preview button. This will show you how your document will appear on mobile, tablet, and desktop views. Once you have previewed the document and are satisfied with it, you can click on Send to send it to the recipient. Once you sent the document and later realize that you have sent the wrong document or forgot to include a necessary field, there is no need to worry because you can still correct it. To correct a document, simply navigate to the Manage tab and click on it. This will take you to the Manage page where you can see all of your documents. From the left panel, select the Sent section to view the document you have sent to the recipient. Here, click on the drop-down menu button next to the document on the right side and select Correct from the drop-down menu. Once you have selected Correct, you can make the necessary changes to your document, such as replacing the entire document, adding recipients, or adding a field. Once you have corrected the document, simply resend it to the recipient by clicking on Correct button at the bottom of the page. Now let's create a template. First, navigate to the Manage tab on your dashboard. Once you're on the Manage page, hover over the document you want to save as a template and click on the drop-down menu button. From the drop-down menu, select Save as Template. A new window will appear where you can give a name and description to your template. Additionally, you can add a specific recipient for the template. Once you have filled out all the necessary information, navigate to Save and Close and click on it. Your document will be saved as a template which you can find later in the Templates tab. Now it's time to see how to add contacts to your account. Firstly, look for the right side where your logo or initials are located. Click on it and then go to My Preferences. Here you will see several options. We're going to focus on the Contacts option. By clicking on the Contact option, you will see your existing contacts here on this page. On the right side, next to the search window, you can add a new contact. So, to add a contact, click Add Contact and enter the contact's name, email, and company name. Note that you don't have to add a company name. You can also add a phone number easily, but that's also not required, so you can easily get rid of it. You can share this contact by checking on the Shared Contact option, so it can be used by other users of your account. Once you've added the necessary details, hit Save. 
And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using DocuSign. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all of the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.